The date serial function returns a date if year, month and day are passed as arguments. Here is syntax. Year, a numeric value that represents the year value of the date. Month, a numeric value that represents the month value of the date. Day, a numeric value that represents the day value of the date. For example, to find the events on April 1st, 2022, we can use the date serial function. On the Create tab in the Queries group, click on Query Design, add the Events table, add all the fields. In the Criteria row of the Event Date field, to enter a date, use the Date Serial function. Enter this value. Pass three arguments, year 2022, month 4, day 1. Run the query. The query returns events on April 1st, 2022. When any argument exceeds the accepted range for that argument, it increments to the next larger unit as appropriate. For example, if you specify 35 days, it is evaluated as one month and some number of days depending on where in the year it is applied. For example, this expression returns May 5th, 2022 since April has 30 days. Run the query. The query returns events on May 5th, 2022. Enter this value. This expression returns Jan 1st, 2023. 13 months is equal to 1 year plus 1 month, so a year has been added. Run the query. The query returns events on Jan 1st, 2023. Enter this expression. This expression returns February 10th, 2023. Since the days are more than 365, a year has been added. Run the query. The query returns events on February 10th, 2023. You can also specify relative dates for each argument using any numeric expression that represents some number of days, months or years before or after a certain date. When addition or subtraction are used with literal values to modify the expressions, you can define dates in the past or the future by their relation to the current date. To get the list of events that happened in the previous year, enter this expression in the criteria row. Use the year and date function to get the current year and subtract 1 to get previous year. Pass this as year argument. For first day of last year, pass 1 for month and 1 for day. For last day of previous year, pass 12 for month and 31 for day. The query returns the list of events happened in the previous year 2021. You can see the 2021 events are listed. For the list of events in the previous month, use this expression. Use year and date functions to pass the current year as year. Get the first day of last month by subtracting 1 from the current month and using 1 as the day argument. Get the last day of previous month by using 0 as the day argument. Passing a 0 to the day argument means 1 day less than first day of the month specified in the date serial function which is last day of the previous month. Passing a 0 to the day argument will automatically get you the last day of the month specified in the date serial function. The query returns last month events that is March 2022. To get a list of events in current month, use this expression. Get the first day of current month by using 1 as the day argument. Get the last day of this month by adding 1 to the current month and using 0 as the day argument. The query returns events in current month that is April 2022. To get a list of next month events, use this expression. Get the first day of next month by adding 1 to the current month and using 1 as the day argument. Get the last day of the next month by adding 2 to the current month and using 0 as the day argument. The query returns events of next month that is May 2022. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.